about 14 kilometers in altitude, 8 point. All right, and just about two new all. Four main parachutes. You can see a view inside the capsule. Bob and Doug looking good. Splash down. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splash down. Although I can't decide between two of them, I'll just ask the uh, professional, you know, the uh, expert. In order to launch this new mission, we model the P3. It's important to like broaden your horizons. To be honest, I didn't think I was going to do this program. But then I was like, you know what, it's free. Like, I'll get something out of it. Like, I should do it. Just put myself out there, you know? And so I thought, I think that's like really important to just put yourself out there, like push yourself out of your comfort zone, like go learn something new um, and get something out of it. So, yeah. having learned to utilize Helium 3 will motivate a possible way. My biggest challenge has to be the public speaking part. Um, I never knew how to talk in public. I never liked doing it in school. But doing this program, it really made me want to improve my public speaking skills. And I improved drastically. Like, I, I feel so comfortable talking to everybody, no matter who it is. That really helped a lot. I just found Walt's Island, um, and you'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more. We've got endangered species that now. February, early March, and then you would probably want to go ahead and start building. Um, next, we have over here, we have a... We have a certain time that your team is supposed to present. We just got closer and became much better at collaborating and helping each other. I think the first few days we were a little more reluctant to do that, but I think just as time went on, we just grew closer and helped each other out. This entire the project depends on communication and collaboration. And so if you, if you don't have that with your team, it, it's gonna be tough to, to do things like this. Wait a minute, I'm kidding. Anyone actually like was about to go to sleep and they're like, Wait, I like that. Oh, okay. I, I think I just really had a great time with my role in general. Um, it's it's really nice to work on the mission. I think that's probably just my overall favorite part when we're in our groups just working on our mission. Because it it feels it just feels nice to be working on something. I know during quarantine sometimes you're like, oh, you know, run out of things to do. And it was just really nice to get to work on this solid presentation. Uneasy about, still the mission name, and then um, we just She has an astronomy background, and she's worked a lot of it. VTOL kind of flight. Flying like an airplane is more efficient. Honestly, this just makes up for everything. This experience right here, and, and it's online too. In future years, once we get over this pandemic, they'll be together in one place and they'll be experiencing so much more than just I experience. And I experience, I've never met these people in my life yet. I have these strong connections because of how good this program is. And it's so worth going through, especially if you're not surrounded by people who maybe like space as much as you do. And I, I know it's so fun to just talk to people about my interests. Graphical map. Which I'm the self as a About the uh, other exoplanets in the GJ887. In this program, you can really expound on what you love. To operate with only one functional mode. Conversate motor. with the people at NASA so they are aware it's of what's just going to be simply fun pressing the control.